Hello and welcome to the final virtual concert of the 20th anniversary season of the North State Symphony. I want to give special thanks to our sponsors, our symphony staff and board, the Reading League and the Chico Guild, our members, and to all of you who are listening and watching right now, who have helped make this season happen in a time where people need music now more than ever. This program is called To the Four and highlights some very special works and composers that we think deserves the spotlight as much as, say, Brahms or Bach or Beethoven. In this first part, you will hear from two Pulitzer Prize winning American composers, both with very unique and diverse musical backgrounds. Our first work is called Dark Wood and was written by Jennifer Higdon, a Grammy Award-winning composer who decided that there wasn't enough repertoire that features the bassoon. As someone who grew up listening to the Rolling Stones and the Beatles with very little exposure to orchestral music until much later, you can expect this to be a very unique and powerful work, uninfluenced by form and tradition. Listen to how it grows from, from some initial pops of sound from the bassoon and uses the power of silence to seemingly create something out of nothing into a very fast-paced, intense frenzy that pushes all four players to the extremes of technique. The second piece on the program is by Ellen Taff Zwillick, and it's her chamber symphony that was written in a time of deep personal loss and takes us on an emotional roller coaster until it finds acceptance. It is a singular movement and uses non-traditional combinations of instruments, shifting meters and intense dissonances that could be a musical representation of how we all felt about the past year with little or no live music. And now please sit back, relax, and enjoy the first part of the program by our two living composers.
Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Quibby, Executive Director of the North State Symphony. It's hard to believe that this is the final concert of our 20th anniversary season, and what a season it's been. We've learned how to pivot, become experts at using Zoom, and basically turned into a multimedia production company. But the thing that stood out for us this year is the importance of connection to each other, to our musicians, and to you, our audience. We're grateful that despite being off stage for so long, we've been able to stay connected to you virtually. And it's your connection to us that's kept our music in the North State. You've sponsored concerts, become season members, and shared our videos with your friends. Your support truly makes a difference. If you would like to make a gift to help celebrate our 20th anniversary season, please visit our website, www.northstatesymphony.org. We're just about ready to start our year-end fundraising campaign, and your donation today, of any amount, will help us get off to a great start. Stay tuned for more information. And know that your generosity directly supports our musicians, staff, and all of our creative projects right now, and will help bring us back to your local concert hall when it's finally safe. On behalf of all of us at the North State Symphony, thank you for joining us and for supporting us throughout the year. We miss you and can't wait to see you in person next season. Welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed the first half of our program. This concert is the first time that I've conducted in 13 months. And with that, I just wanted to say that we at the symphony realize that virtual concerts are no substitute for live music. For sitting in a concert hall filled with 70 musicians and friends and family, and a whole hall filled with people eager to share an experience together and live pieces of history and new works that reflect the world that we live in today. What is great about the future is how much of this reimagining will carry over into seasons that have live concerts with virtual components. Concerts that you can experience with friends in the concert hall or programming you can enjoy from the comfort of your home. We reached so many young people through our virtual youth concerts this year in places that we never even dreamed of. That innovation and accessibility will pave the way for us to be an orchestra of the 21st century. We will end this concert and our season on a much lighter note, a suite from a ballet written in the 1920s that captures the vibrancy of that era with dances and a twisted storyline about kitchen utensils that get into this bizarre Shakespearean love triangle. The marriage of pot and lid is threatened by twirling stick. Then there is dishcloth that flirts with lid and then is challenged to a duel by broom. Lid then vanishes and then is kicked back on stage by a, a giant foot. In the end, all of these relationships are mended and everyone lives happily ever after. If only Wagner had such characters in his own epic music dramas. So please enjoy this last work and the last of our 20th season. With your support, we can't wait to make the shift back into the concert hall for our 21st season. So please stay tuned in coming weeks for more details on our in-person concerts coming up, as well as our year-end 20 for 20 campaign to help us make that transition successful. Thank you and have a great evening.
Thank you. 